Item number SCP-6121, Security Level 2, Containment Class Euclid, Secondary Class Archive, Disruption Class Dark, Risk Class Notice. Special Containment Procedures, Creometria is cataloging all high-profile public events taking place within Canada and projected to feature at least one mascot character. One additional humanoid containment chamber must be prepared at Site 43 ahead of each such event. A new chamber must also be prepared prior to each occurrence of the Winter Olympic Games. Update MTF Kappa 43 The mediators must be on hand to capture any SCP-6121 instance which manifests. It must then be remanded to the new chamber. Description SCP-6121 is a blanket designation for a series of humanoid anomalies resembling human beings wearing mascot character costumes. In actual fact, the costumes are hollow. They are, however, universally capable of movement, vocalization, and apparently limited cognition. Each SCP-6121 instance manifests through unknown means at a large-scale public event held within the nation of Canada. Resembling set up events of official mascot, though always deviating from the approved design in one or several respects. Apparent quadrennial manifestations suggest that whatever force controls the manifestations of SCP-621 instances considers the Winter Olympic Games to be Canadian, whether taking place in Canada or not. Their actions are inexplicable turning towards the ridiculous, and they universally communicate in extremely loud flat tones. Their speech is only really pertinent, and very frequently incoherent. Addendum 61211 Partial Infantry A representative sample of SCP-6121 instances retrieved from the Site-43 Network Database. 43Net is reproduced below. 43 Net Catalog of SCP-6121 Instances Selected Item Number SCP-6121-1 Date November 16th, 1963 Mascot A stylized depiction of a snowy owl in the style of Inuit handcrafts known as Ukpik Deviations SCP-6121-1 has human proportions Genuine Ukpik are typically the size of small plush animals. Circumstances of Discovery SCP-6121-1 vandalized the Canadian displays at the 1963 Philadelphia Trade Fair, which Ukpik had been created to advertise by ramming into the booth walls and screeching. Interview Log Date November 16th, 1963 Present Chief M. Strauss Security and Containment Hello, SCP-6121. I'm going to ask you a few questions. Hoot hoot, motherfucker! I beg your pardon. I'm an owl! Sound of a door closing. Debriefing Log Date, November 16th, 1963 Present, Dr. Rhetoric Chief, Acrobatic Abatement Chief Strauss, Security and Containment what on earth was that? Do you hear? I don't... You look how I feel. i never seen anything like it. I don't get this at all. Is it dangerous? It doesn't seem dangerous, but I can't make heads or tails of it. Archives and vision will start combing the database. There's got to be a precedent. There isn't. Our subjects are never... funny. Oh, is it supposed to be funny? Is that what it thinks it's doing? It's a little bit funny. A second interview was conducted three hours later. Interview log. Date, November 16th, 1963. Present, Dr. Rhetoric, Chief, Acromantic Abatement. Chief Strauss, Security and Containment. Hoot, hoot! We've been over that. That's... Owls don't... I'm not really an owl! No? No! Then what are you? 
I'm an anthropomorphic personification. Really? Yes! That's terribly interesting. Yes! And what are you an anthropomorphic personification of? A motherfucking no! Move on! The briefing log. Date, November 16th, 1963. Present, Dr. Scott, Director, Dr. Redwick, Chief Acromantic Abatement, Chief Strauss, Security and Containment. Thoughts? Someone screwing around. Can't help but agree. This feels like a distraction. A complete and utter waste of time. Lock it up and throw away the key. Does it eat? I don't think it can. Why not? Because it's hollow and there's a speaker in its beak. Item number SCP-6121-11 Date February 11th, 1976 Mascot A beaver by the name of Amic. Mascot of the 1976 Winter Olympic Games in Montreal, Quebec. Deviations SCP-6121-11 has human proportions despite being a beaver and lacks a mixed red sash. Circumstances of discovery SCP-6121-11 was discovered drowning in the La Chun Canal having apparently attempted to construct a beaver dam using structural elements removed from the Olympic Stadium. Interview Log Date, February 11th, 1976 Present Dr. Ockerberg Researcher, Archives and Refission Dr. O'Corey Researcher of Romantic Abatement Chief Strauss Security and Containment how are you setting in, 6121-11? Damn fine face you got here! <sighs> Damn fine place indeed! Yes, could you please? Damn! Yes, I got that! Could you please tell me where you came from? Damn, son, that's personal! Alright! Don't alright me, goddammit! Okay! Beaver! Beaver on its own does not constitute a joke. I am almost 100% certain of this. Strauss. Item number SCP-6121-21. Date May 10th, 1979. Mascot. An anthropomorphic representation of the concept of the military. Created for the Military Contractors Convention held at Exhibition Place in Toronto, Ontario. Deviations, the convention's mascot had only existed in iconographic form prior to this manifestation. Circumstances of Discovery, SCP-6121-21 was discovered in the foyer of a convention center, questioning a group of Italian Canadians about their potential connections to deceased fascist dictator Benito Mussolini. Interview Log, Date, May 10th. 1979. Present, Dr. Ockerberg. Researcher, Archives and Revision. Dr. Falkirk. Site 1 Liaison. Dr. O'Corey. Researcher, Acromantic Abatement. Chief Strauss, Security and Containment. War. Good God, y'all. What? The song, War. Do you know who else sings? No. Communism! The Briefing Log. Date. May 10th, 1979. Present. Dr. Scott. Director. Dr. Ockerberg. Researcher. Archives and Revision. Dr. Falkirk. Site 1 Liaison. Dr. O'Corey. Senior Researcher of Romantic Abatement. Chief Strauss. Security and Containment. What's the current count on SCP-21 instances? 21. God almighty. This is becoming untainable suggestions. Group containment. There's no reason they all need their own cells. We don't know that. Could be whoever is making them wants us to put them all together. Maybe they, I don't know, turn into some bigger, more horrible, more normal thing. 
Maybe if they share a cell, they'll share brain cell too, and we'll be able to get some answers out of them. Maybe we should build a sausage machine. What? You heard me. Item number SCP-621-29. Date, February 12th, 1984. Mascot, Vuko. He wolf mascot of the 1984 Olympic Winter Games in Sarajevo, then Yugoslavia. Deviations. Instead of a wolf, the costume depicts a typical mixed breed canine. Circumstances of discovery. SCP-621-29 was discovered accosting organizers and participants at each athletic event and very loudly speaking its own name placing particular and undue emphasis on the first syllable, which was pronounced incorrectly. Interview Log Date, February 12th, 1984 Present, Dr. Utterberg, Researcher, Archives and Revision Dr. Euler, Chair, Nemesis and Cryptomancy Dr. Falkirk, Site 1 Liaison Dr. McInnes Researcher, Administration and Oversight. Chief Strauss, Security and Containment. I must admit, we're a little confused. You've only appeared at Canadian events thus far, and yet... Doc! I see. Doc! You're saying Doc as a word. Doc! Do you know any other words? Do you know your face is asymmetrical? That was hardly proportionate, McGinnis. Note. SCP-621 instances appear at all Olympic Winter Games from this point forward, regardless of hosting nation. Item number SCP-621-34 Date February 14th, 1988 Mascot Howdy, one of the Heidi and Howdy duo of cowboy-themed beers which served as the mascot for the 1988 Winter Olympic Games in Calgary, Alberta. Deviations, the shape of the costume and hat are wrong, as are the colours. Furthermore, what at first appears to be a bear costume is, in fact, a particularly portly dog costume. Circumstances of Discovery SCP-621-34 was discovered within the Olympic Village, attempting to create a fort for itself comprised of condoms supplied to Olympic athletes for the first time that year. Interview Log Date February 14th, 1988 Present Dr. Eckerberg Researcher Archives and Revision Dr. Euler Visiting Fellow Nemesis and Cryptomancy Dr. Falkirk Site 1 Liaison Dr. Okori Junior Researcher Acromantic Abatement Chief Strauss Security and Containment Agent ready. Security and containment. Luke! Uh, uh, are you being compared to say that? Luke! That's great. What's the earliest memory you have? I'm Olympic! SCP-621-34 produces a small orange bottle from within its vest and begins pouring pills over its face and occasionally into its mouth. Security and containment personnel rush to restrain it. Debriefing Log Date February 14th, 1988 Present Dr. Scout Director Dr. Eckerberg Researcher Archives and Revision Dr. Euler Visiting Fellow Remesis and Cryptomancy Dr. Falkirk Site 1 Liaison Dr. Okori Researcher Acromantic Abatement Chief Strauss Security and Containment Agent Ready, Security and Containment. This week on Mascot Mayhem. They really are theatrical, aren't they? It's definitely a performance. I don't think we should even interview them anymore. We're just giving them what they want. Look at this dark damn crowd. What if, uh, what if they really want, assuming there's uh, they behind this at all, is for us to get tired of interviewing them and just stop them in our holding cells. What if we miss something vital by doing that? Yes, I hate to miss hearing the precise details of their master plan to annoy the bejesus out of everyone in hearing range. 
Whose mascot are you, Edwin? An unrelated news, tomorrow's my last day. Item number, SCP-6121-37. Date, August 19th, 1992. Mascot, Flippy the Frog. One of the series of mascots for the Downward Spiral Water Park located in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Divisions, the frog's costume is green instead of blue and contains a large enough mouth and confessions enough throat to contain an entire human child. Circumstances of Discovery SCP-6121-37 was discovered in the process of eating 12-year-old Gregory Kaplan, causing no actual harm by considerable distress. It had performed this action intermittently, with multiple subjects involved, for two days before coming to Foundation attention. Interview Log Date November 19th, 1992 Present Dr. Etcherberg Researcher, Archives and Refreshion, Dr. Bald, Director, Decommissioning Department, Dr. Euler, Visiting Fellow, Nemesis and Cryptomancy, Dr. Belkirk, All Sections Chief, Dr. O'Corey, Researcher, Agromanic Abatement, Chief Reddy, Security and Containment, Special Zamen, Psychology and Parapsychology. Got any children? Yes, I have a son and a daughter. Can I eat them? You look like the kind of dude who'd have really edible children, this all. If I did something specific to get stuck on cannibal duty, I'd like to know what it was. Zamen. Item number SCP-6121-41 to SCP-6121-44. Date. February 11th, 1998. Mascot, Zuki, Nuki, Lucky, Zuki, for Owlet, who performed joint mascot service for the 1998 Winter Olympic Games at Nagano, Japan. Deviations, all four instances are instead wearing chicken suits. Circumstances of Discovery SCP-6121-41 was discovered following random civilians around the Olympic ground, cheeping and occasionally hooting loudly. SCP-6121-42-43 SCP and 44 were discovered in a nearby park, breaking the branches of every tree by attempting to stand on them. Interview Log Date February 11th, 1998 Present Dr. Ackerberg Senior Researcher, Archives and Refission Dr. Black Researcher, Archives and Refission Dr. Bald Director, Decommissioning Department. Dr. Euler, Visiting Fellow, Nemesis and Cryptomancy. Me, Dacted, All Sections Chief. Dr. Lilyhammer, Researcher, Identity and Techno Cryptography. Dr. Lloyd, Chair, Nemesis and Cryptomancy. Chief Reddy, Security and Containment. Special Summon, Hiring and Regulation. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Okay. Okay! I have a question. Shoot! Why did... Did you say shoot? Whoop! Why do you only appear for the Winter Olympics? Canada! Canada! Cheat! Nagano is in Japan. The Winter Games aren't exclusively Canadian. No! 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 Alright! The Briefing Log Date February 11th, 1998 Present Dr. McGuinness, Director Dr. Ucherberg Senior Researcher, Archives and Revision Dr. Blank Researcher, Archives and Revision Dr. Bold, Director, Decommissioning Department Dr. Euler, Visiting Fellow, Remesis and Cryptomancy Redacted, All Sections Chief Dr. Lillyhammer Researcher, Identity and Techno Cryptography. Dr. Lloyd, Chair, Nemesis and Cryptomancy. Chief Reddy, Security and Containment. Specialist Salmon, Hiring and Regulation. I have a theory. What else is new?
Well, that's the thing. Actually, while well, the three subjects present a shift in the pattern of anomaly creation, what if the only thing linking them together is the shared expression of something in the human psychics? You read the first interview logs, right? Strauss was completely baffled by that freaking novel. It still baffles me. Yeah, well, you're old, Lyle. You're old too, on the inside. You need to loosen up. Sometimes a funny mascot is just a funny mascot. I think they're funny too. I just don't know if it means they aren't a problem. They obviously are a problem. There's 44 the bastards now. And Lord knows how much electricity and paperwork and productivity it's cost us to keep a lid on them. And we haven't learned a damn thing in all this time. It's hard to collect data with outperforming comparisons. There's still nothing to compare them with. And there never will be. Oh, come on. We don't know that. I'm no scientist, Dr. Lillyhammer. But I'm really certain that nearly four decades of nothing happening is a statistically relevant trend. You're right. Thank you. You're no scientist. Note. SCP-6121 instances cease to appear at the Olympic Winter Games from this point forward. All other manifestations continued as per usual. Addendum 6121-2 Present status On the containment of the 50th instance of SCP-6121, the Overwatch Council appointed a special council to discuss this SCP object with the Director, Chairs, and Chiefs of Site-43. An excerpt of the meeting is presented below. The Briefing Log Date October 9th, 2008 Present Dr. McGinnis, Director Dr. Clef, Special Counsel, Reducted, All Sections Chief. Dr. Blank, Chair, Archives and Refission. Dr. Bremo, Chair, Research and Experimentation. Dr. Du, Chair, Quantum Super Mechanics. Chief Banners, Security and Containment. Dr. Leclerc, Chair, Health and Pathology. Dr. Lillyhammer, Chair, Memetics and Counter Memetics. Mitchum, Chair, Administration and Oversight. Dr. Nas, Chair, Theology and Teleology. Chief Nassibani, Janitorial and Maintenance. Dr. No, Chair, Psychology and Parapsychology. Dr. Okori, Chair, Applied Occultism. Chief Orlis, Pursuit and Suppression. Dr. Fuxar, Chief, Identity and Technocryptography. Chief Zaman, Hiring and Regulation. Yes, but there's precisely my point. They aren't dangerous at all. Who's talking about danger? Let's talk logistics. They're bleeding you like a stuck pig. Nonsense. These subjects have never once escaped containment. The model... Model what? Model prisoners, you were going to say? Because you're not running a prison here, McGinnis. You're running an RNC site. He's right. Hot stuff says I'm right. Hot stuff can eat your tie from where she's sitting, Doctor. But here's what you're right about. In a prison, they let you out your cell occasionally to stretch your legs and pursue a hobby. These things are just wandering away in there because Overwatch is geared to let them out. Well, first off, my tie is booby trapped. Second, they don't rot. If they did rot, this wouldn't be as much of a problem. Third, what the frick would you even do with them? They're juggling idiots! We can make them special consoles. Cute! No! Really! You ve- We put in a number of proposals. C-121 instances are completely harmless. Do you know how many of our facilities have on-site daycare? I'm sure children would love to watch one of our fuzzy friends fall flat on his face all day. And on a topic of logistics, what about the D-class shortage? Hmm? And again, they never rot. Not did they eat or sleep or do anything but clown and keep around like little balls of infinite energy. Put them on a treadmill for God's sake. Make a perpetual ocean machine out of them. Hmm. None of this is doing it for me. I think we've all gone soft and you're calling these things. I'm going to recommend you send our old kid and Carbudo to Site 90. 
I strenuously object. Do I have any seconds? The assembled cheers and chiefs all raised their hands. Cool. Any of you seconds got overseer Clements? Dr. Cliff successfully petitioned the old five council to authorize the transfer of all SCP-6121 instances to Site-19. Upon arrival in containment at that facility, they were placed under his executive purview. Notice a security clearance level 3 discussion has been initiated regarding this file. Caps Lock Crew! What? Check it out! For the integration program. Okay, but wait a second. Yo! <laughs> what? 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 I forget! You had a whole stable of stable humanoids since our time, hey? They could have been out of containment and doing some good. Is that not your signature on the Vegas Accord? Get with the program. We need these guys. We'll take them all. Right, except the racist one. Do we talk to you or Clef? Please don't say Clef. You gentlemen are aware that this is an archived document. The current version is here. SCP-6121-D, Security Level 2, Containment Class, Decommissioned. Archive Containment Procedures, see previous iteration. Description, SCP-6121 was a blanket designation for a series of humanoid anomalies resembling human beings wearing mascot character costumes. SCP-6121 instances manifested through unknown means at large-scale public events held primarily within the nation of Canada, resembling said event official mascot. Though always deviating from the approved designs in one or several respects. Addendum 61211 Disposal On October 24th, 2008, all instances of SCP-6121 were transferred to Site-19 under the direct purview of Dr. Clef. One week after their arrival, Dr. Clef submitted decommissioning documents to the O5 Council, citing the expense of maintaining separate containment chambers for so many subjects, the danger inherent in housing so many unpredictable subjects in the same containment chamber, the unchecked and unsustainable rate of new subject production, the productivity loss inherent in interviewing and managing each new subject, the complete lack of useful research conducted on such subjects since 1963, the inability of research personnel to prove that said subjects possess sapience due to their simple rote behavior and nonsensical utterances, the incongruence of said subjects with all other known anomalous phenomena, each instance appearing to represent a form of humor, thus are unattested in the SCP database. The possibility that said subjects represented an infiltration of Foundation containment facilities by a hostile group of interest. Dr. Clough's request was accepted, and on November 17, 2008, he decommissioned each instance individually with a handheld lame delivery device. Subsequent to this act, no further SCP-6121 instances have appeared. This file is considered inactive. The source of the manifestations remains unknown. Notice, a security clearance level 3 discussion has been initiated regarding this file. He did what? What the frick? Even our guy? I love our guy. Hoot hoot, motherfucker. Why? I love them! I'm sad now. Unattested in the SCP database! He didn't know, okay?